Hey there, this is Niels Beardford and today we are making some leather flip-flops. For this project you don't really need a pattern, just take a flip-flop that is fitting you already and trace the sole on the leather. After cutting it out you want to moisten it completely from both sides. You want to mark two parallel lines to the edge. One, about 5mm from the edge, is for sewing and the other one is for the edge of the artwork. For stamping I use in this project along the edge a camouflage stamp and for the rest I use a honeycomb. After stamping you want to get in the holes for the attachment, use the flip-flop as reference for this or just simply your foot. For the attachment you need this V-shaped piece of leather that is on the lower part is a little bit shorter and split and the longer arms are almost the same length. The split part will later get on into the hole in the middle. Put it in and test if it fits and cut it to size. Bevel the edges and at the short arm in the middle cut a groove uh, to make it easier to bend. As a second sole layer, you need another piece of leather, roughly cut out. After that, get on some paint, and I personally really prefer here the paint gun, since you get always the desired color. Also, I put on a thin coat of resist. I recommend oiling the leather, you can do it now and or later, but it gives a nice shine and good feeling to the leather. For a smooth passage, you want to thin out the ends of the attachment. Then moisten the short split arm and bend it backwards. You can now put it in the hole and set it in place. Be sure to understand that the top side of the leather will go onto the skin of your foot. Hold the pieces in place with some glue, hammer them down, rough up the edges if needed and sew them on. To give some a little bit more additional support on the foot inside, I glued another piece of leather in there where the edge is also thinned out, but in the end it turned out did not change that much. After that I rough up the leather sole, put on some contact cement and glue the shoe on. Now we are punching some holes along the already marked line. And sew them on. Carefully cut away all the excess leather but, um, but be sure it does not need to be perfect yet. 
After the leather sole, we do this very same with the rear rubber sole, put on some contact cement, glue it on and cut away all the excess. You want to be more accurate here, but we are still sanding it down with a machine or by hand. When all the edges are perfectly aligned, you want to bevel, re-dye and burnish the edge. And as a last step, we are oiling it again. And this is how you make some simple flip-flops. You don't really need a pattern for this. You still can get mine, but the most important part is the flip-flop this is already fitting you. I hope you like this and have a great day.